It's time now to check in. In business news, we head over to 680, and Richard Southern is in for Mike Apple all week long. And of course, we know Megan Kelly. She's connected to Fox News, but a big announcement yesterday. She is now one of the highest paid hosts, and she jumped ship. Richard. Over to NBC, apparently, in a big money deal. It's going to make her, uh, Tammy, one of the highest paid broadcasters on U.S. television. So I thought we'd look at where her salary, which, by the way, is expected to be as high as $15 million a year, ranks among U.S. broadcasters. So let's take a look. Anderson Cooper from CNN, we know him. He reportedly makes between 9 and $11 million a year on a, a recent extension to his deal. Conan O'Brien pulling in $12 million at TBS. Pat Sajak still getting it done at Wheel of Fortune, $12 million a year. Uh, Miley Cyrus on The Voice, she's making good money, $13 to $15 million. There's Megan Kelly, $15 to $20 million bucks potentially for her at NBC. Kelly Ripa, though, making as much as $20 million. Then we get into the big money. Matt Lauer, the Today Show, $20 million bucks a year. Nobody, though, did you know this? Nobody comes close to Judge Judy, who makes $47 million a year, and she just signed an extension to stay on the air until 2020. How about that? All right, meantime, uh, if you have some travel plans to the UK, you may want to pay attention to this. British Airways, the cabin crew, they're going to go on strike for 48 hours next week. Starting next Tuesday, uh, the cabin crew is going to walk out. This after suspending a previous plan to go on strike over the Christmas period. The dispute involves uh, members of the so called mixed fleet cabin crew, uh, new members who just recently joined. A uh, BA spokesperson said the airline was, quote, extremely disappointed that the union had again chosen to. As they put a target our customers. Uh, British Airways has two daily flights out of Toronto Pearson. So, again, if you're going next Tuesday or Wednesday, you may want to call ahead and check on that. Well, stocks have been flying high lately. The TSX, in fact, just 250 points away from its all time high set back in September of 2014. So, a big day on the markets today, and who knows, we could have an all time high for the TSX. Uh, the Dow as well, getting close to the 20,000 mark, which we've never seen before. Stocks have gone straight up since the U.S. election. A lot of anticipation that Trump will engage in big infrastructure spending. Taking a look here at oil, you can see it's edging up just seven cents. Uh, gold's higher. The loony picking up almost half a cent this morning, 74.89 cents U.S. No change for gas prices uh, today. However, coming up tonight, we're expecting a two cent drop at midnight. Tammy, we just missed that list, by the way. We were ju just on that, uh, just a this bit above close. Anderson Cooper there. Just yeah. missed it by a smidgen. Just this much. Yeah, I'm yeah. still in shock about Judge Judy. Are you kidding me? It's 47? unbelievable. Oh. That's, there's big money in syndication, apparently, and she has cashed in on that. She probably only works a few days a month, and they bang out a bunch of episodes and she cashes a check for 47 million a year. Wow. Unbelievable. 47 mil for yelling at people. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much, Richard. Thanks, Tammy.